Did I submit to GDQ? I did not. I did not. There is an unfortunate story regarding GDQ and me. Which, eh, we got some, we got some time to kill. I do have a lot of games up my sleeve. I'd be, I'd be happy to, uh, to show them off for GDQ, but there, there was an incident at, uh, AGQ 2019, sus, where I was claimed to have, uh, sexually assaulted someone. And, of course, that is not true. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. And the the people who corroborated the story, I have evidence that they are they were anti me before that event, but I didn't know that. So I I didn't know. I thought we were friends, <laughs> like straight up. Like I thought, oh hey, you know what's up, dude? Like we're good. And then I I you know we're at the event, we do our stuff. And then I think they just took an opportunity to exaggerate things and fucking try to call me out, get me get me reported for for bullshit, which they weren't theoretically wouldn't even been around to have seen if if said event was true. And then I got uh, banned without even knowing, like during the event. Like I got I got uh, I got banned without being told that I was like quote unquote being investigated, but they didn't talk to my roommates or anything. They talk, they talk to people who didn't like me. <laughs> so, uh, I actually recently tried to contact them. Actually, a few times. I, t I tried contact contacting them in January of this year. The the GDQ team. I tried contacting them in January. And at first, I was just like, you know, requesting to get unbanned because it had been three years. I was like, okay, if we're, if we're all being reasonable adults here, and I've served a three-year punishment... For, for something that I already think I didn't do, right? I was like, okay, that's probably enough time that we can we can at least request make make some headway, right, into resolving the situation. And so, at first, they were like, oh, let's see what happened, or like, you know, like, oh, like, let's see if I can be of us. They were like, let's see if we can be of assistance. And then like, they just didn't respond after that. And then I like poked him back like a week later, asking like, uh, okay, so you said you were gonna like come come, you know, contact me again. When he had some more information, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not going to be unbanning you," <laughs> uh, but if you have any further questions, please let us know. And then I started asking some further questions, at exactly as they said I could do, <laughs> and then they proceeded to ignore me. And then I was like, "Okay, okay, hold, 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 hold. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna really be like this." So then I actually had to start trying. Well, then I tried mounting a case and collecting the necessary screenshots and whatever to to prove my point that. There are there were anecdotes I had and screenshots saying like the stories don't exactly line up, and there was mo there there was easily motive and um, precedence for them like doing whatever they wanted to do to like get their way. So I was like, okay, if I surely surely if I give them a lengthy document with like 13 pieces of evidence, then that at least. like question the validity of the guy's original statements then surely I at least have to look into it right no straight straight ignored then I then I contacted back in March um I think it was March yeah I think I think it was March I contacted again asking like uh okay so I contacted you guys in January and you guys didn't uh <laughs> Like, say anything about my appeal that I gave all this information for. Can someone please confirm that it's been read? Still haven't heard anything back. It's, uh... It's pretty garbage. Right? I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a pretty easygoing person. Right? Like, I, obviously, I'm very passionate about speedrunning. And I do get, you know frustrated when things don't go my way in in speed running but in general um you know i feel like i'm, I'm pretty laid back and i'm i want to forgive a lot right and and let bygones be bygones um but G gdq is making that very hard for <laughs> for me to 
uh, say nice things about them. It, wa it was uh, during that event, yes. It was it wasn't uh, a girl. It was, and that's actually <laughs> funny. Funny you say. It actually, was that, that was what surprised me too. Ruby was a guy. <laughs> when when I got the the notification at at the event that I was being banned, I was like, okay. I the, the person who I talked to at the time, which was very brief, they were like, okay, we're gonna need your badge. Uh, you're banned. That, that's literally, and they didn't tell me like who, what, when, where, or why. They told me no information. It was only like later that I found out anything about the situation. So without any information at the time of receiving the news that I was being banned for, you know, the sexual misconduct or whatever they said, I was like, there's gotta be a case. I told the guys like, there's gotta be a case of mistaken identity or something because it's like, I would know if I was like fooling around with like some random girls. Like I didn't have any of that nonsense happening at the event and there were only like of I think it was like at the time there had been f five days that had transpired and I, I was like I'd only had been drinking on like two of those days right so like the the window of like things happening would it was going to be like very small to begin with I and I, I even said something like that uh sus I was like uh, right, like, I'm in good standing in the, the community that I'm in, which is, uh, SMW Kaizo. I was like, I'm in good standing with them. I'm in good standing with Twitch, right? I, I feel like I'm a, a, I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I feel like I'm a positive influence on the community. I try my best anyways to be a good role model and... Especially in the realm of speedrunning, I try to encourage people to pursue their dreams and not give up. Like, I feel like I'm a, a prime candidate for, like, what they would want from someone representing at GDQ. It was, it was, Tang. Six one four. See, so yeah, I, I try not to talk about it too much, just because obviously it's a sore subject. I do, I do feel like I was kind of, you know, mistreated in the in the whole thing, not just at the uh, the event itself, like, like getting banned from the event, but the the aftermath of it too was extremely brutal. And a lot of character assassination and st t stuff taken out of context, right? So like there, that was that was a rough time. There, there was honestly a, like at least one I was like I've I had never had suicidal thoughts before, but like that that was one. There was one night in particular post things going down that I was like had serious contemplation, but you know we you know pressed forward, moved on. So. And I, I, you know, I appreciate all you guys, you know, coming in, providing support, and you know who you are, um, helping to keep me going. And then, you know, the SW Kaizo community give me the time, the time of day to uh, to do what I love to do. So, you know, shout out to you guys.
I have no idea what uh, what happened to Patty, by the way. I've heard that name before, but I, like, don't really know them. I'm I'm not used to the uh, the drama, Kidos. <laughs> I've, I've lived a happy life, uh, staying drama free, for the most part. I think I think it helps that, like I said, I. I don't, I don't, I try not, I try my best not to like hold grudges or anything like that. Just try to like let things kind of roll off my back. So that's like 50% of the equation. <laughs> oh my god. messed up my setup, but no punish. I messed up that setup too, but no punish. <sighs> wow, I almost shortchanged that. Holy fuck. Yo, exactly, Kinos, exactly. Yo, thanks, Ruby. Yeah, it, it was tough. I, like I said, there, there were definitely some people behind the scenes that helped steer me in the right direction. Like, I, I had quit streaming for, I think, what was it, like six, seven, eight, nine months, something like that, after that event? Well, shortly thereafter, the after the aftermath. Um, which is a whole nother story, and there's definitely some drama there. I might want to touch on that after this. But I, I got I was encouraged and you know big shouts to especially uh Wanthak. And there there are others as well who may or may not uh be here lurking, so I don't wanna necessarily call out. Um But it was definitely Juan who had specifically encouraged me to try speedrunning Kaizo. He's like, dude, you're 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 really good at platforming. You're gonna crush it. Why today can I not fucking get my dive bomb credit, dude? All these good paces wasted. It's like five fucking times today. Still a good pace, though, I guess. Yes, <laughs> I, they, well, they list they listed their name as one two three four five six, but uh, <laughs> uh, that wasn't that's was probably not who they their their actual Twitch name. Just a uh, nice little funny meme. Oh, 
Oh my god, please. God. Smooth. Definitely messed up my, my setup there, but we're lucky we didn't get punished. Okay, no punish. Let's go. Okay. Quietly putting up a nice pace right now. Excuse me. Good ultra tight. Hopefully. Nice, got the steal. Woo! Yo, hello, uh, Teko. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are in the green. 1840 pace. Yeah, 1840 pace into the final level. Can we do it? First two sections are the hardest. Thank God, dude, go. Pray. I knew I did that. Okay, there goes the sub-19. Nice fucking job. Still good run. Still good. Choke the sub-19, but that's a fucking run, dude. That's a fucking run. Holy shit. Wow. Wow, we almost clutched a deathless mansion. Right? Oh, no, we had one We had one death in the shell jump room. Oh, my God. Whoo! Oh, my God. I cannot believe... Oh my god, I cannot believe we were that fucking close. I cannot believe we were that fucking close. Oh, what a run. Dude, just like, we were just nonchalantly talking about rough stuff too. I think that was the GDQ run uh, talk, right? 
I think we we're talking about the GDQ room. We were just kind of like playing the video game while doing it. And then just monstrous fucking run. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Petey, thank you for the thousand bits. Hashtag clutch. Almost, almost fully clutch, dude. 18 was on the fucking table. 18 was on the fucking table. Thanks everyone for the G's, by the way. I appreciate that. Showed up at the perfect time, Zuck. Perfect freaking time. 1902. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, we're so close. I feel like we at least gotta keep trying, right? Still gotta keep trying, but man, that was a good run. I hope I guess I I guess I hope you guys enjoyed story time. Um you know. And appreciate you guys uh sticking with me through through it all. Uh and in the in the process got a really nice run out of this. <laughs> Uh, nice. Nice. 